This video is brought to you by the Gigabyte GTX 960 G1 Gaming Graphics Card, featuring fan stop mode with intuitive visual indicator lights and flex display technology to easily connect up to four monitors. Click the link in the description for more information. Excellent! Hello everyone, I've decided to do kind of a, a quick impromptu vlog for today, and the reason for that is right over there. The reason is not my Panasonic image app for my LX100, even though that is pretty sweet. Ooh, crazy. All right. Now the reason is this, this box right here. See? This box. This box came all the way from Slovenia, and inside is delicious, wonderful, fantastical goodness from EK. But the problem is, I really can't even touch that today. I can't. Because... Because I have other things to do. That's the problem. By the way, this video is brought to you by PulseHardware.net. PulseHardware.net, the doorway to the Pulse Hardware store where you can buy shirts just like this one. Anyway, moving on. The other reason I might do a vlog is to show you a video of Nori. Say hi to the camera. No, nope, she's coy. She's shy. She's petulant. Over here, though, I have yet another project going. I kind of started this off last night, although I still have much more to do. Um, I have two systems I'm working on. The first one is a little nook right there. I'm going to put that out in the garage to help operate the teleprompter and uh, also to handle a couple of the video screens out there. Uh, other than that, I also have this system over here. This is formerly my wife's system before the uh, the system that she has right now. We handed this one down to her father who has been using it. It has a Asus P5ND motherboard and a, a Core 2 Duo in there. It's still a very nice little system. Uh, and it was also running an SSD which made it pretty decently fast. Um, the thing about it though is that the, the point of failure, which yes, was the SSD. Can you guess which one? Ah, uh, the OCZ Vertex 2. Still doing damage to this day. I probably shouldn't have trusted it for as long as I did. Anyway, that's getting replaced uh, with another new SSD, but I need to... Oh, this is dusty. Uh, need to reinstall Windows 7 on that. I got that going and started up. Uh, and then once those are finished, I also have this little guy to work on, which uh, is the giveaway system, the, the silent build. I just need to do a refresh of the operating system and a clean, and uh, depending on when you watch this video, the, the giveaway uh, is either almost over you might still be able to enter, or it's probably just about over. Um, so check my Twitter, I'm sure I'll be announcing the winner. But even all that is just distraction. No, I have a larger duty to take care of. I, what? No. That, that came out totally wrong. Uh, so in here we've got part of the solution uh, to the problem, which I haven't told you what it is yet. Uh, this is a TP-Link gigabit switch, right? Switches be tripping. Okay, so was it an 8 port, 8 port gigabit switch? That's going to be the center of uh, my garage network, or at least my wire garage network. And I've got this awesome length of uh, 100 feet of Cat6 cable. This is from Monoprice. It was only like 14 bucks for 100 feet of it. Nice deal. Uh, I was going to buy a spool, but that was just a good deal, so I went for that. Anyway, the internet comes in over here, and uh, my router's right here. And uh, I've been running a cable all the way across the floor here out to the garage. And uh, my wife's not too keen on that, but I do need wired network in the garage, I've decided, so... I'm afraid for the next step, though, because the only way to get it out to the garage is to go up into the attic. Alright, I'm gonna start from down here. And, uh... Got... I have a stool. This is... Good lord. Oh. Hello, Valera Sangvinar. And Zabra Hex. Illidan, do you think we're ready for the uh, Cat6 cable? You are not prepared! Alright, uh, here's my point of entry. I might need to widen that a little bit. It's my special widening scissors. Uh, these are approved for this type of work because they were closer than going out to the garage for a real tool. Alright. Just, just, just the tip. Hold on. It's almost there. A little bit further. Oh, you got it. Right through there. Okay. Chris, you gotta have uh, proper headgear for this type of excursion. I think... What do you think? The red? Wish me luck, Nori. 
She loves the camera, doesn't she? All right, so we got plenty of cable length going on down here. Lots of Cat 6, too. <laughs> All right. Ladder time. That's like another world up here. What was really, what was really stupid of me actually was, uh, it's, it's like almost noon now, and I really should have done this at about like 8 a.m. because it's already getting really warm up here. As you can see, the benefit of the uh, bright orange cable here, very, very easy to spot. So, just gotta pull it up here, and then uh, the garage is down there at the other end. Then I gotta, I gotta, I just gotta poke it through. Never tried to navigate the attic with a camera before. Oh, lovely cobwebs. All right, the other side of that uh, drywall there is the garage. Ah, ah, that's daylight. I see daylight. There we go. Oh. Ah, okay. I think I'm a little sweaty. Don't forget the camera. I think I got the cable mostly good to go. It's coming through down there and then comes down right out here. I'm going to run this back behind all this stuff and it will plug into the router. This is also why it's nice to have different colored ethernet cables. You can tell what's going where. Uh, this router, by the way, is an Asus RTN56U, by the way. And yes, the firmware is updated. Meanwhile, out in the garage... Oh. Alright, so here's the set and whatnot, and cluttered as usual. But back here... The inside of the garage is finished, drywalled, and insulated, but, um... Still not totally clean, as you can probably see. But, uh, here's where the cable came through. And uh, I could just run this across the floor since I do have plenty of cable down here and I have more that I pushed up into the attic. But I think what I'm going to do is a temporary solution to uh, go across the top of the wall here. I think we are nearly finished uh, with today's, or at least this little project. So I have the cable kind of looped up up there, and please ignore how I have my, my light mounted. That's totally professional and uh, totally up to standards. Oh, hello, hello EVGA X99 classified. It's so boisterous when it boots up. Oh look, there's me and my uh, Monoprice 4K monitor. It's very glossy. Okay, but um, on with the show. Cable's coming down right here. Got the switch all set up. Um, and, and I guess I can just start plugging things in. Er, eh, okay. We got little lights. Oh, we have a light. That's good. That's a good sign. And then, uh, oh, I have a little, I got a little shorty cable here to uh, actually connect the test bed and make sure that's working. Alright, we got lights going on everywhere. Uh, looks like we have internet, though. Ta-da! Internet, yes, connected. Do-do-do. Hey, we have internet! It is connected. Look, there's my channel. Alright, now, if I was, uh, if, if I had nothing better to do, I would totally go and start unboxing that water cooling stuff. But, I should probably edit this video and get it up so you guys can actually see it in some sort of timely fashion. Um, I'm probably also gonna reroute that 
orange cable. Um, but stay tuned, because coming up next time on Paul's Hardware, uh, I'm going to be continuing on my epic build right here, which doesn't look much different from last time you saw it, but I have that water cooling stuff. So I'm going to go over the water cooling stuff. I'm actually going to at least maybe drop in those radiators and kind of see how things are lining up to plan out the tubing pathway and stuff. Uh, my tempered glass piece is on its way, so there's also going to be a mod project on the side panel and lots of other exciting things too. But thank you for watching today's random vlog video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned a little bit about climbing through your attic to plug in cables and extend your network. I could have probably gone with like some kind of power line solution, but uh, I, I just, I can't, I just totally prefer the wired category 5 or now category 6 solution. But don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe so you can see all those videos I was mentioning, and uh, head over to my website or my store, check that out, I've got some t-shirts there for sale, you can buy those, or you can just uh, click on my Amazon link in this video's description and you can buy stuff through that, and that also helps me out too. Thank you so much for watching guys, and we'll see you all in the next video.